In this video, you will learn how to use the store key. The store key is used to store an answer from a computation that can be used later in another computation. For example, if you have two bank accounts and you want to compute the interest earned for each account in one year, and then you would like to compute the total amount of interest you earn for both accounts. The amount in your first account is $10,000 earning a 3% return for one year. The simple interest formula is interest equals principal multiplied by the interest rate multiplied by the time of the investment. So let's compute the amount of interest that you would earn in the first account. That is $10,000 multiplied by the interest rate which is 3% multiplied by the time of the investment which is one year and we want to store that answer into a specific part of the memory in the calculator so we would go ahead and hit store and then now we select where we want to store it so this is where the alpha key comes into play we would select alpha and then we're going to store it in the variable a so now we hit enter and it displays the answer so a ten thousand dollar investment at three percent for one year you'll get three hundred dollars back at the end of the year and that answer is stored in the variable a so now let's compute the amount of interest in your second account in the second account you have a principal of six thousand dollars earning a two point five percent return for one year so we compute the simple interest so we take our principal of six thousand dollars multiplied by the interest rate of two point five percent multiplied by the time of the investment which is one year and now we're going to store this into another part of memory so we hit the store button and then the alpha key to store it in memory bank B. So we hit enter and for a six thousand dollar investment at two point five percent interest for one year you'll get a return of one hundred and fifty dollars. So now if we go ahead and clear this value we still have our values of the interest earned for each bank account stored in A and B. So, your total interest earned for the year is computed by adding the interest earned from each account. The interest from the first account was stored in A, and the interest from the second account was stored in B. So we simply add A and B. So, we go back to the alpha key to get the A recalled, and then we add that to B, so we go alpha and then B and then we hit enter to get the value so remember that A was three hundred dollars and B was a hundred and fifty dollars and we add them up and we get a total of four hundred and fifty dollars of interest earned in both of those accounts this is just one example of using the store key it can also be used when programming and it is also handy when evaluating rational functions. Or you may think of another way that storing an answer in memory may be useful. You can also recall the values that you stored in memory. For example, if you wanted to see the values of the computations you just stored in A and B, you would use the recall key. Here's the recall key and notice that it's written in blue so you would need to use the second function key to activate it. So let's recall the value in memory bank A. You would hit second function, this button, and then alpha to recall up the A. And you would hit enter. So remember that our calculation was $10,000 invested 
uh, at 3% for one year, and the answer was $300, and we stored that in A. So this is the value that's stored in A. So let's clear this. Now let's say that we wanted to recall the value in memory bank B. So we would go second function, recall, alpha, and then B. And then you would hit enter. Recall that this computation was a $6,000 investment at 2.5% interest for one year. And it was $150 and we stored that in memory bank B. So at any time you can select any of these variables to recall by using the recall key. Now I would also like to note that there's another way to recall the values that are stored in memory instead of using the recall key. It's a little bit faster. So here if we want to see what's in memory bank A, we simply go alpha and then hit this key and we hit enter and there we have 300 like we've shown before. If we want to find out what's in memory bank B, we simply hit the alpha key and then this key right here and then enter and that gives us the value that was stored in memory bank B. It's a little bit faster than using the recall key right here. Um, the recall key is probably best used in programming situations. So I would recommend just using the alpha key and then selecting what letter that you're interested in and recalling in the memory bank and then selecting enter. This concludes the video on the use of the store and recall key.